as cut down as the rest of the bike. The frame uses a single down tube, stress tension layout to keep weight and bulk down to a minimal. The frame uses tubular steel members to make up what little skeletal structure there is, and that material makes up the truss-like swing arm as well for a simple, homemade look that fits well with the rest of the bike. Right way up forks support the front end with a coil over monoshock to manage the motion at the rear, but neither end has anything in the way of adjustability. That's really not surprising on such a small ride that obviously will never have to deal with passenger or cargo weight, but it does lock you into someone else's idea of the perfect ride. At least the factory went with all-around disc brakes rather than go for a little too retro. Drum brake action. There's no ABS or linked brakes. But at least you get basic, honest braking. Fat. 16-inch hoops finish out the rolling chassis and beef up the custom look, but I would point out that some fat white walls would look pretty good on this ride. Simplicity is a recurring theme with this bike, and the engine is no exception. The one lung thumper is as basic as it gets with cooling fins to radiate waste heat to the atmosphere in the good, old-fashioned, 26mm CV carburetor to control the induction. A time-tested capacitor discharge ignition manages the spark with nothing from the electronic wizardry shelf to complicate the works, but who would want traction control and rider modes on a bike like this anyway, right?